Okay, well, equal analgesic dosing of opioids, and really the, the, the person that really has written the book literally on that is, is Mary Lynn McPherson. Um, it, it's, it's not an exact science, but more of an art of knowing kind of where to throw the dart and guess at it. Um, we do have some better data coming out where we can tell how much moving from one drug to another drug is actually going to uh, affect uh, the patient's analgesia, the patient's side effects, and potentially adverse effects from those drugs. Uh, originally, a lot of those um, dosing tables were based off single dose studies where uh, a healthy volunteer got one drug and then got another drug and they tried to guesstimate what the effects were. Um, or it might have been somebody that was actually sick and they got one dose of drug A, how is your pain, and then they got dose of drug B and now how is your pain there. And it really is a lot more complex than that because as you give opioids over time, it really changes the, the structure, the function, the expression of the different opioid receptors and then we get into um, having to figure out what the cross reactivity or the cross tolerance is going between drug A and drug B. And so um, that's a lot of it where we figure out what is the relative potency or the relative equal analgesic dose, for instance, between morphine and um, oxycodone. And then you, you further, based on patient specific variables, adjust that target dose. For instance, if I'm moving uh, between morphine and oxycodone because of uncontrolled pain, and the patient's in terrible, severe pain. I may not reduce the dose uh, because I'm worried about increased side effects. I may be actually more aggressive and increase the dose slightly, uh, 25, maybe even 50%. If I'm moving between equal analgesic doses of drugs and it's because of side effects and the patient's pain is otherwise fairly well controlled, I'm going to want to be on a little bit more of the conservative side and potentially reduce the target dose I'm going to by 25, maybe even 50%. And in some cases, when you're going to methadone, you need to be even more conservative than that.